Okay, now we will move on to the muscular system for the limbs, which means that we will be dealing with the muscles of the forelimbs and the muscles of the hind limbs, right there, okay? Let us start. This is the ventral view of the arm of your toad, okay? So right off the bat, the muscles that are easily seen, okay, one main muscle right here, right there there is a big fat muscle that is called the palmaris longus okay now the palmaris longus all right um how will you know uh, your clue is that this muscle extends there is a connective tissue that connects it to the palm hence it's called palmaris longus okay longus because it's well it's long okay there so that is how you know so you just look for this in the ventral view you see the biggest muscle there that is your palmaris longus now for the other muscles the palmaris longus will be your point of reference all right so right next to it you will see a big fat triangular muscle that one that would be your um, flexor carpi radialis okay now the flexor carpi ulnaris is somewhere here it's partially hidden by these two in this view so we will look at a different view later now the one here again from this view you will see that this part is your palmaris longus okay now this part is, this is somewhat a lateral view so you will also partially see the um, you will also see the extensor carpi ulnaris which is somewhere here somewhere here so the striations are not clear, I'm very sorry. We'll look for a diff different view. Oh, this is a better view. Alright, so first, let us look for the main muscle that you should know. This, um, this one right here, this big muscle right here, that it connects to the digits of your hand. So that is the extensor digitorum communis. Okay, so that's how you know, extensor digitorum, so it extends all the way to the digits, alright? Now, after that, once you found your extensor digitorum communis, now you will look for the two other muscles that are next to it. So the one here, the one here, that would be your extensor carpi ulnaris. And then, again, it is obscured from our view, I am very sorry but it's somewhat here right at, the, at this the other side of your extensor digitorum communis at the other side is the extensor carpi radialis okay there so first look for the main muscle before you look at the other minor muscles and that's how you will know okay there so from this view um it's just a little lateral so this is the extensor digitorum communis longus and then this one is the extensor carpi ulnaris. There. Okay? That's quite uh, simple. Now this one, okay, so extensor carpi ulnaris. And then you will see this is the palmaris longus. There you go, connected to the palm. That's how you know. Alright? So just a little uh, recap, basically. Ah, now this is a better view. So again, you see the palmaris longus here. And then finally you see that the uh, small muscle right there. That is the flexor carpi ulnaris. Okay? And then this uh, big uh, triangular muscle here is the flexor carpi radialis. Ta-da! There. So those are just uh, the six muscles, but at least, at the very least, you should know palmaris longus and extensor digitorum communis longus. Just those two, I'll be happy. All right. Now let us move on to the muscles of your hind limbs, which we will divide into two main parts. First would be your thigh, and then the next one would be the shank. Okay, so let us first look at the muscles of uh, the thigh. So this one right here, the first one, that is your vastus internus. So this view is the ventral view. Okay, ventral view. Now, next muscle, right here, 
somewhat. Alright. Now that is the adductor longus. Okay. Now in this one, this this muscle here, um, if you see that in ac the actual specimen, it's very thin. As you can see, it's like a sheet of a muscle. You know, that is actually covering the other muscles. That is your sartorius muscle. Okay. Now the sartorius muscle, so it partially covers your adductor longus and it also covers this big muscle right here which extends all the way to the underneath that is your adductor magnus okay now the adductor so when you hear the word adductor the action means it brings the uh, extremity or the limb closer to the median or the midline of your body so that's what it means when you adduct Okay, you bring it closer to the middle of your body. Okay. So the adductor longus and then the adductor magnus. Magnus means large. So as you can see, it's quite a big muscle. If you remove the sartorius, it will you, you will see how big it is. Okay. And then next would be this uh, huge chunk right here. That is your gracilis major. Major again because it is big. And then the one right here hanging right there as you can see it's a, it looks a bit pathetic because of a part of it was removed when you skin the toad so if you're not careful it can be removed okay that's why I told you to be careful that is the gracilis minor okay there so major because it's big minor because it's small okay so those are the muscles of your thigh Alright, so I want you to remember this one, which is your vastus internus, okay? So, because now I will tell you. We will now look at the dorsal view of the thigh, okay? Now the vastus internus, alright, so that's one. Now again, now this one, this next one, is the rectus femoris anticus, okay? And then this one, this third one, is the vastus externus. Okay? So these three, they combine to form the triceps femoris. So triceps, tri means three, sep means a head, femoris because it's close to the femur. Okay? So triceps, it, the muscle that has three heads. And the three heads would be your vastus internus, which you saw ventrally. The rectus femoris anticus, which you will see anteriorly, hence anticus, and then the vastus externus. Okay, so those are the three heads of your triceps femoris. All right, there. Now the next muscle below your vastus ex externus, you will see this muscle. That is the iliofibularis. Okay, there. And then this big one right here is your semimembranosus okay and then the one right here so it is the same view you can see it dorsally you can see it ventrally that is also the gracilis minor okay there so the gracilis minor will cover partly the gracilis major and the semimembranosus there now apart from that I would like to know uh, I would like you to know these two other muscles so that would be the piriformis muscles okay they are closest to the cloaca so those are the piriformis muscles okay and now these two round ones here I've mentioned it in the previous video if you watch um, that would be your gluteus muscles so the muscles of the ass or the butt okay there now let us move on to the muscles of your thigh okay so let us look at a better view so this is the ventral view and this one is the dorsal view so let us first look at the ventral view of your um, shank sorry the shank okay now the first one so the most anterior okay so that muscle right there is the tibialis Anticus longus. Okay. Now next to it is a muscle that traverses the tibiofibular bone. That is the extensor cruris. Alright. 
and then finally the one here the one that's a bit torn that is the tibialis posticus so again it suggests the location of the muscle tibialis close to the tibia fibula anticus means it is found anterior or in front of the tibia fibula okay and then longus because it's long and then tibialis posticus because it is posterior to your tibia fibula bone okay yeah and then this big muscle here you might be confused that is the gastrocnemius it can be seen ventrally and it can also be seen dorsally. This big muscle right there is the gastrocnemius. So from the name itself, gastro means stomach. Because if you look at it, it's a, it looks a bit like a stomach. Okay? And then this muscle right here, that is the peroneus muscle, which can be seen dorsally. And that's it. Those are the muscles of the shank. Okay? So I hope that this has been a good review. And um, I'll uh, wish you luck in your exams. Thank you very much for watching.